So now we're at a point where the, the basic wood portion is, is all put together and as you can see I have a lot of accessory things laid out here to go over. Pickups, the bridge, here's wooden pickup covers, um, the electronics, knobs, and the tuners. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I have to route down into the face of the guitar. This is truly the scariest moment. You've put all this effort and time into your guitar at this point and now right in the smack in the front you're going to route down cavities to place the pickups. So I, I, my heart kind of always beats at that point but I've, I've never messed it up so far, not going to win. So the pickups, I have a sweet spot where I like to al align the pickups. Occasionally a player will say, well I do a lot of slapping and popping, I want more space between the base of the neck and where the first pickup goes. Um, we talk all that out, uh, it does change the tone. The sweet spot that I put in gives um, a very strong bass tone to a very usable and not brittle treble sound. Sometimes the player wants to put the, the pickup right up against the bridge. To me I don't like that because it gets a little brittle and just unappealing. If you move it up a, a half an inch it, it matters a lot. Anyway. That's variable where the pickups are located, but figure that out. I route the holes. The bridge is located, every fretboard, every uh, base has a certain scale length. So the scale length is the distance from the nut at the top to where the string goes over the bridge at the bottom. I have nuts that uh, I usually use bone, they're cow bone. They come in a blank and then I shape them and grind them into um, you know the, the exact um, to go with each exact string weight and then the, the nut is placed up in the top of the, the fretboard. I occasionally make uh, these come with plastic pickup covers. These are Nordstrand fat stacks that I use a lot uh, and, I, and I wire electronics so that I can tap and go between single coil and dual coil so, so you get a whole range of tones. Um, sometimes I'll make wooden pickup covers um, that, that the, the, the uh, pickup can slide into. Um, it's just a nice touch if, if you want to really match the top or you want a beautiful contrasting top. Um, some players wonder, does the magnet get enough strength going through a piece of wood to pick up the full volume of the string? Yes, it does. It's just that the top has to be fairly thin so that you can raise the pickup to wherever it needs to be. You couldn't put a quarter inch thick piece of wood across the top or it would affect it. Um, when I, here I've pre-drilled my uh, holes for where the um, electronics will be and I, and I have uh, um, cut out the, uh, the room for the electronics to fit in there. So, Rather than put it all in and solder inside the, the cavity, which is a lot of work, I, I make a piece of cardboard that's exactly the spacing of this. So that I, then I put all the pots, the volume, tone controls. This is, happens to be an Aguilar preamp. And I do all the wiring when it's on a piece of cardboard like this. And then, uh, which makes it just way easier to do. And then when I'm ready to, uh, to install it, it's just really a, a straight drop in right into the holes. The, um, the pots go through uh, to the other side. In case you're wondering, I haven't enlarged these holes yet, but I will, so that the pots all fit through. And then, I'm, I, here's how I handle this. I take, I buy stock wooden knobs, usually in rosewood or in ebony, but I replace the um, Allen screw because they always come with bad Allen screws. And um, I grind down the top and I use a matching wood, like that happens to be Bubinga, here's Coca Bolo, and I grind these down flat and I laminate wood on the top and then turn them and shape them so that I can match or contrast the, the top wood. Here are um, some, some uh, tone control knobs that happen to be sap wood from Coca Bolo on top of ebony. 
And it's really just one of those nice touches that you know, uh, really makes, it makes it just a unique bass. And, and when, when uh, players know that they can get um, unique knobs, um, that's, they all, always have an idea of what they would like. Um, up at the top, I have um, tuning pegs. I use hip shot both with the, uh, the bridge and the, the tuning pegs. I like to use aluminum because of the weight. Um, and the saddles on the bridge are, are solid brass anyway, so the tone is great. There's no, to me, I don't, uh, because of the woods that I use and the neck through, you don't need to go to a brass bridge for sustain. All the sustain you're ever gonna want is in this neck. So uh, it weighs about a quarter of a pound less to have a, 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 a aluminum bridge, and the same with the tuners. And when I, when I figure out the weight of a bass, every single thing adds up. Every, the pickups, the tone controls, the, the bridge, the, the, the tuners, it's one of those things where you are trying to shave weight on every single place that you can without affecting tone. So um, anyway, it, it's a, it, that's why I use aluminum uh, for those things. And also the aluminum tuning keys keep the head of the base light and keep it from dive bombing. So th those are basically, the, that'll be the next step of accessories that all have to go in to make this uh, an electric base.